Well, I wasn't prepared to play this game. I'll make sure I make enough room for my hard drive. You know, I had to keep on saying hello in every each video. But I'm here to go ahead and give this one a try. Pumpkin Jack. I heard this game being pretty long. It's like three, four, five hours long. It's a good old classic platforming game. That reminds me of Jack and Dexter. And most likely collect the walls here and there. There's gonna be another short video gameplay. Because if I do the whole thing, this might end almost quickly as possible. I'll let the opening scene explain for itself. Even the PC. He has four Xbox One, even the Switch and the PC. Really? He's that bored? Have his mind? I made the chaos and destruction again. I love this opening. You know, it's just still images. But still, it's an awesome way to begin the video. I'm going to turn up a little bit. You know we're not in October yet. This is a perfect time to do an early Halloween gameplay. Exactly. Exactly. In the point of the game, so let's go ahead and get this started. The rain comes. Like a cosmic asteroid. And he's already in his full body south. <laughs> All right. The twirl is a mess, so the devil meant about know, the death and destruction. <laughs> Looks like it's doing fine as, but you know, that some pesky wizard. Which brings the question what kind of wizard can't the devil get rid of himself? <laughs> That's a good question there, Jack. Woohoo. Her brain that crown. Grown man has died of him. And mention Jack. Who are you? How dare you? 
word. I haven't forgotten your... Okay. Don't slow me down. Let's check in. Hoo-hoo, I'm... Fancy. And your... Okay. What kind of fool do you take me for? And turtles. I'm doing it way too fast to read those. I like how everything's all purple, pinkish, all dried up wasteland, and blue. I need to get her healing potion. Down to boot, how? And you dope. <laughs> Skulls are good. Look. Of, e of evil. Sorry, I'm not talking too much. It just takes a while getting used to like the controls in this game. I love the classic double jump trick. So the quite all crow skulls head, huh? That's pretty interesting. New checkpoint. That's better. Yeah, we know we have a fight bad guys yet. Also, oh, river. Yep, we can read the video game cliche. Can't swim. Woohoo, oh, not bad. Some legs, everything. Really put them to test here. There are. Have trouble finding them off. Some heads in. But why should they attack me? Thing on their side. I know this isn't. They are kind of like you. Like you. Okay, no or not, you're still human. Why? And them. That's clever. And... Where's the idea? Done job. Well, like I said, this should not take too long. Oh, watch out for the deadly traps. Randomly kill you there. Press B to dodge attacks. That's quite helpful. I do whenever he uses a sight for a weapon. Just gonna dodge those. Piece of cake. Now what? I'm glad everything you there. Stay away from us, crow. I'm not alive. Wait, that means of a straw. I know scarecrow now and creeps. Not for once, no. In turn, see crow. What do you want, scarecrow? And then horns at just ahead. Oh, kind. When you want me to get rid of them. Yes, 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 I... Who oh, my... Him. Their support would be useful very well. Have to the strong... Let's go. Alright, got a sidekick crow for a pet. Ready, Jack? Let's crow. Really? Instead of go, said crow. Got a strong beak there. Yep, still didn't take damage yet. Exploring the beautifulness of this world. Dead ahead. Yep, 
first enemies is the final off. Hm. Crawl is pretty useful. Also, the way they talk reminds me of Bandit Kazooie, all like, raw, 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 raw. This felt like a Tim Burton video game. Even better than none. <laughs> exactly. I was down just really into it. <clears throat> if I drink coffee, I would read that a little faster. Like it. Slack it. Slurp it. Jump it. Going up. Let's try again. <laughs> well, there's something up there. Another crow skull. Or raven skull. Whatever. Just can we have to collect all 20 of them. And take down this creep. Love how the turn the ghosts when we beat them. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. Take that. Have some of this. Every day I'm shoveling it. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
After this, I'll probably record another game that those of you guys might or may not heard of before. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got... felt like I got a frog in my throat as I'm talking like this. Also, I feel like buying a diet soda because I've been sitting down on my artwork way too much. Whether this gameplay is done with, of course. Still got like, well, I was gonna say six minutes left, but I got like five and a half minutes left. I do like the entire background and everything all smudgy, gloomy, and most likely dark in most places. It is kind of like a Tim Burton twist to it. I find it very fascinating, really grateful that they invented games like these. I mean, all the games I've played so far, this one is most likely my favorite. Just wiping out bad guys one by one. One at a time. Tearing them apart. Piece by piece. <laughs> oh. Show you. Spin attack. They should put more enemies in these games. They seem a little bit too simple. I mean, this is all you do in this game is defeat the wizard. And find a few bosses here and there, which we'll get to another time. It's very... In the word for it, uniquely fun when you play the only character... Hold on a second. Oh. Need it. Look inside. Hop out of my body. Your head. Oh, uh, that thing. That's disgusting. I'm a bird. Inside. Hoo hoo. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. He can get out of his body and move, use his head like a little baby squid. Using his fucking head is pretty interesting. Look at that. That's another cool part of this game. Well, his. Pumpkin head can do that too. Can use your root. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> he does move like a little octopus. Yep, he can spin attack too. Which is actually quite useful. Some places will be almost hard to reach, so you have to hit some crates. Just like Crash Bandicoot does it. It's so not destroying them, but trying to get to the top side of it. Hit the other box. Made it. Go on those events of animations of bats flying by all 2D style. Open sesame. Oh, I've done all I can do. <laughs> Cornered by Patrick. Healing potion. You know what? I'm gonna do it for like maybe four more minutes, which is starting right now.
They sure took their time doing everything in this game's project. The barnyard looks stupendously well done. I just love the idea when they come up with these level designs. The music is nice to listen to. Fits the atmosphere pretty well. And screw you! Yeah, get out of here. And scray. And now giant rats are attacking us. Brilliant. Got to fight some different enemies besides the same brain dead ones. Hmm, <laughs> good because they're already dead. Hey, I'm funny too, you know. All right, I'll stop. I'm with the lame jokes. Time to get serious. You always have to look for a milk and cranny in every each places that you did not miss any items. Or you have to redo it all again like most players do. Or do like most players do, look it up. Cool that they actually put a samurai suit in this game. Take that. Have some of this. Eat it. Adios, those suckers. They're all going down. Hell yeah. Destroy all that stuff there. Get all those goodies. I love searching for souls in this game. It's your own main collection of coins. Ancient collectibles. Oh, let's try again. Right through that convinced wood. And there's potions. And all kinds of things here and there. Yes! Just four more to go. Getting closer. Ooh, I finally missed that one. There's another one. Three more left. 